Alright, hello everyone. So this is Haven, and I am going to show a really nice and easy way to make a really good alpha. And this technique is good for people that are creating mesh clothing, uh, so that you can create a better one than you would get just through Blender alone or through other techniques just alone. And also this is good for people that buy an outfit that come with um, a really crappy alpha. You know how it is to get stuck with one that just doesn't fit your avatar right and you want to uh, tweak it and you don't quite know how to do it. I'm going to show you something really easy and fail proof actually. So the first thing that you need to do is put on the clothing that you want to make an alpha for. Now I have to tell you I tried to find something but these are fitted mesh so they already fit the body pretty good um, without an alpha. Uh, but I'm going to create one for it anyway so that you can just see how good it can be. And um, the first thing that I'm going to do is not show you my head because I don't have any hair on. Oops, wrong way. <laughs> so I keep my, my bald head to myself here. Okay, um, and I'm off to this side for a reason. So I'm going to go here and create a new skin. So you go to the plus sign, new body parts, and a new skin. And you can call this um, your uh, for alpha making skin. All right. And go ahead and right click and wear that. And it's going to be ugly at first because it is a skin with basically no texture, only a color. So after you get that on, we're going to go to um, right click on it and choose edit. And in the editing skin here, we're going to make use of our temporary textures. Um, so you can bring them in for real, but I'm in the beta grid. And I can bring them into the beta grid too. I just want you to see how easy it is to use your local temp textures with this. So for the head, I'll click on the head. And when this opens up, I will go to local and add. When I hit add, I can navigate to this folder that I've got a material top, bottom, and head template on. And then I can just go ahead and double click on the head. And you'll see that the head template is now here in this list. And I can also go to add and now do my bottom and add and do my top. So since I clicked on the head to open up this window, I'm going to click on the head texture and it's automatically on my head. Okay. Then I'm going to click on the OK button and click on the upper body and you can go ahead and choose local and these ones will all still be here so you can click upper and you can even click here without clicking OK. But I like to make sure that I click OK when I'm done with them. And so bottom and OK and OK. So these right now, this right now is my skin. And my skin is filled with lines and guides and colors that I can create an alpha to to match perfectly. So now the next thing that I need to do is I need to go ahead and I can save this so that it saves and then close that window and then go to the plus and new clothing create a new alpha and so we can just call this um, test alpha alright and then we want to right click and we want to wear that as well and nothing happens because it's not been made yet it, it exists but it doesn't have any information yet so right click on it and hit edit. Now you get the different parts of the um, alpha that you can assign a texture to. So the first one that I'm going to do is the upper alpha. And so that's, or actually, let's just do the lower alpha first. So I'm going to click on lower alpha. And I'm going to go to, um, actually, I'm not going to go there yet because I haven't made the texture yet that I want to use. So we're going to go into GIMP. 
And in GIMP, I have my um, lower texture right here. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom out so we can see it better. And I made this, sorry, it's really small so that we could see both things at the same time. So I'm going to create a brand new layer. And clicking that button, I get my new layer dialog and click OK. And we want it transparent. Now the thing that we want to remember about this is that wherever the texture is white, all right, wherever it's white, the skin is going to show. Wherever it's transparent, the skin is not going to show, okay? So um, I'm going to go ahead and on this layer up here, it's all transparent, I'm going to paint with white paint. And I'm going to paint over the legs. So I can just go ahead actually and I have to fix my dynamics a second, all right, and raise my brush size a little, do a little bit more. All right, and so now I can come in here and I can start painting my feet area and my other areas there white. So you see that there? And then I can come up, see this blue area? That's the same as this one here. And I know I want my skin showing here, so I can paint this all white, like that. I don't have to get too detailed just yet, but I will want to get a little more detailed in a few moments. So I'm going to cam in a little closer here. And then go over a little bit. And back to GIMP. And now I see I've got uh, this grid area, this grid area, and maybe the full next little quarter grid area. So if I zoom in, of course, it helps a lot. Don't be afraid to zoom in and out to see exactly what you're doing. So here you can see the grid area. So here was one, here's two, and here's that one little third one I was talking about. So on this one here and the gray one, okay, I want this to be visible. So I'm going to use my um, paintbrush again. And now it's way too big. And I'm going to just simply go like this and I'm going to use that as a beginning guide. I could be a little off here, but we're not going to get this right the first time anyways. And then come on this side, and I'm going to match that. Well, somewhat match it anyways. And then here's the back side. So now we cam around to the back of the avatar. And you see we've got our solid blue lines here. And then we've got two full grids, almost. Here's a full grid, and then here's three out of four, three out of four, three out of four, which are showing. So on the back, we have a full one and three out of four showing. So we'll paint those white. And we'll come over here. And we have a full grid, three out of four showing. And we always like to get rid of the very center of the, um, the crotch area sometimes. And actually, I think I may have painted that way too big. Uh, well, actually, let's leave it like that, and we'll see exactly what happened, if it's what we wanted or not. Okay, so now um, you can see here that it's kind of messy, so let's turn this off because this has got a white background. So we'll turn that off. And now we can see where we've got a few little spots that need to be cleaned up. Okay, so this looks pretty good. And I'll actually do that as well, just to clean it up for now. And we'll see how it turns out. So now we're going to go to File and Export. And I can name it here what I want to. So I'm going to name this um, Bottom Alpha. 
And I just stick with the default here on the, um, let me see if I can make that smaller. On the export, I'm just going to leave the defaults as they are and export it. Okay, so that part's done. Now, back in here in my SL, when I go to add now, here's that bottom alpha I just made. So I'm going to double click to bring it in, click on it, and click OK. So it's alpha underneath there, you see, where we left it invisible. And you can see where I miscalculated and I, may, I didn't take this up high enough. So um, these are the kind of things that you run across most often. Oh, I went too far. I didn't go too far. And to take the guesswork out of it or the hard work out of it, you just go here. And this is kind of magical, actually, because now on this layer, I can click my paintbrush and I can say, okay, on the front, let me put this back up. On the front, it's got to be a little more visible, right? So now I can just go here and paint in a little bit more. And I can paint in a little bit more. All right. And then when I go to File and export it to the same one I just saved it to, SL will automatically update it for me. So I don't even have to come back into SL except to check it. And actually, that looks pretty good. So there is an alpha here. Um, so when I sit down, even though my clothing looks like it fits well, when I walk or when I sit down, my tummy's going to poke through or the butt's going to poke through a little bit. And so this way, now it won't, and it's a perfect alpha. You can also then go to the upper alpha and do exactly the same thing. So in GIMP, I really won't do all of it, but in GIMP, you come here and you have this, and you always know that the breasts usually pop through, especially because of um, physics that people wear. And if you don't do a fitted mesh or if you didn't buy fitted mesh, your breasts will come through um, here. So you add your blank trans, um, transparent layer. And then on this layer is the one that you paint. So um, you can see that this gray line is one that you you want to keep visible. You don't want that invisible. Whoops. And you want some of the white over here visible so that you're not seeing through the avatar around the opening. So you could just follow. Let me make this a little smaller. You could just follow this whoops, in your um, program here, like which ones get seen and which ones don't. So I'm just going to kind of rough that out, really big rough there. Oh. And I will uh, rough out by the shoulders a little bit. And I'll rough out by the neck a little. And turn the bottom one off. And we'll go to File and Export. And this one I will name, um, we'll just name it, whoops, Top Alpha. Uh-huh. That's what I get for looking at my keyboard when I type instead of my screen. And then just Export. And in Second Life, Upper Alpha. Uh, local Add. And top alpha, click on it, and you can begin to see exactly how that works. So then when you're done making your um, your temporary textures like this, remember to upload them and to put them on an actual alpha so that you can use them. But you can see it's really nice to have that guide there. And look how nice and close you can get how how smooth of a line you can get. Of course, you're going to want to make, you know, this part a little bit bigger. So it's easy to see what you're doing. You just come in here, add a little more to that area, and export it to the same um, image. And when it's updated on your computer, it gets updated here inside of your temp textures. And so that actually looks really nice for the alpha layer. 
And like I said, you just do it all around for the entire body. So, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, share the link with other people that are trying to learn how to do some of these things. And give a little helping hand when you can. And um, thank you very much. Have fun.